Hey guys, I'm Venomized Comics. I'm Fury Comics. And you got now watching the Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Venom Vlog. And we have another Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse trailer. I'm sorry I'm late to this. Uh, the second trailer came out today, but it dropped at like midnight or one in the morning or something. And I just... I think I just uploaded a couple videos last night to get them ready to schedule for the channel and then fell asleep because <laughs> I had to work very early this morning. So I'm home now and I want to check this out. I've been dying all day. Luckily, no one at work had seen it. I wasn't on social media all day. So this is great. I'm going to be fully surprised. So without further ado, let's jump into this and we'll talk more after because I don't want to waste any more time. My name is Miles Morales. All I'm right. God, I love this animation style. And things are going great. <laughs> You're supposed to be here at five. All right, whatever. Whatever. Oh, no, whatever. whatever. <laughs> or are you like a oh, the spot. Dalmatian? I am the spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Don't, don't do that. Is bread just falling out of him? Miles is great. They're That's both awesome. A in AP physics. That's my little man. And a B in Spanish. What? Isn't he half? <laughs> he, he can speak Spanish. <laughs> Oh boy. And I think you know it. God, the animation's so good in this. I love it so much. I knew when the first one came out it was gonna change animation. And it did. We got Puss in Boots, Ninja Turtles now, like there's a trendsetter, man. Oh, Spider Punk, Spider India! And then we saw Jessica Drew, we got all the spider people. This looks fantastic. Oh, Miguel O'Hara. What's a guy got to do to join this spider team? You huh. can never be part of this. Don't even get me started on Doctor Strange and the little nerd back on Earth 1999-99. God dang, he's intense. Was that that was a Tom Holland reference? <laughs> I love that. But to be fair, he had a terrible teacher. Oh, Mayday! I'll take it from here. Okay. Beating Spider-Man is a sacrifice. Wow. Wait, who was Gwen holding? She was holding a different Spider-Man. Saving every world. Wait, what? Send me home. I can't do that. I can do both. Oh, he showed him a vision. Always. Not always. What about Uncle Ben? If not for Uncle Ben, most of us wouldn't be here. But he had an Uncle Ben moment. Oh, crap. Go, Miles. I can't lose one more friend. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, I hope it works out for you, Miles. Oh, Ben! Oh, that's fa that's fantastic. They took that meme times a hundred. <laughs> oh, wow. I looked at my uncle and let me guess, he died. Wow, that's dark. Is there a spider horse? Did I just see a horse? With a Spider-Man mask? Uh, awesome. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. I, I mean, yes. I need a second to ingest that, but that was fantastic. So it, it seems like Miles' story is that he was is shown some kind of vision, and he may lose maybe his dad, although that could be a misdirect because in the comics, his mom actually died. and the video game, his dad died. Um, so that could be a misdirect, or that could be the thing, is if he saves one the other one could die and i was also like thinking because spider-man as a writer you know and like as a storyteller i i, tr I over analyze things and I'm, I'm sure a lot of fans do this too as a fan you can easily do it where i'm thinking like nuevo york is the year 2099 that's where miguel's from what if he's from miles is you know year 2099 what if he's from miles's future and in the comics and i think in the video game too Miles's mother ran for mayor, I believe, of uh, of Brooklyn, and so um, so I'm wondering, like, is that is that possible that because she becomes mayor, she sets a trend that leads to, you know, New York becoming Nuevo York in the future, or something like that? Like maybe she's one of the first politicians to kind of um, you know, embrace that culture more, and it, it changes the shape of you know the future. I'm wondering if she could be important to. Miguel's future and by saving if Miles saves his father that means his mother dies and that changes Miguel's future 
or maybe it's just I don't know. Like I, I'm a, I have a million theories. I had another theory when I my first trailer reaction a couple months ago. I had a theory that there was going to be five animation styles and that the sixth one was going to be live action. And then now I see that rumor. Everyone, everyone's like going everywhere. Everyone's going. Oh, the rumor is that there's a live action scene. And I'm like, gee, I wonder where people heard that first because that was one of my theories um, in the beginning. So. That would be cool, though, if that, that turns out to be the case where at the end, since they hinted at uh, Tom Holland there, if they show Tom Holland or show Andrew Garfield or even Venom, like I said, if it was a, a live-action Miles meeting, you know, Tom Hardy, that would be fantastic as well. Um, I don't know. I'm digging this. And then also the spot. I had a theory that maybe the spot was somehow involved because this is a part one of two. And typically when you do a trilogy, there's something in the third one has to tie back to the first movie. So I'm guessing the spot, much like in the comic books, was created on a different Earth where the Kingpin's uh, reactor thing that he set off in the first movie, where that actually was successful, maybe. And and someone got caught in it, and it turned them into the spot. Um, so I'm wondering if that's, you know, King Kingpin's son, like a variant of his son, um, or if it's a, it's a Peter Parker that got turned into the spot. Uh, I'm curious. Like, I, I even guessed that maybe it could be an alternate universe uncle aaron and maybe that's why miguel doesn't want you know uh, uh miles involved because in the end they have to stop the spot because he's causing all these rifts and anomalies in, in um space and time and if uh and if miles knows it's uncle aaron he won't you know uh kill him because i guess like they need to kill the spot is what i think miguel's kind of mindset is is that this is an enemy we have to kill we cannot just let him live um, and so I'm, you know, but those are just wild theories of mine, fanboy theories that I'm starting to think, cause I think Jason Schwartzman plays the voice of the spot. So maybe he can't play uncle Aaron. I mean, he could, I guess, but like a different version of him where he's like, you know, a different guy, you know, whatever. But I was also, he sounds kind of Peter Parker ish too. He sounds kind of nerdy and stuff. So that would be interesting if he was, uh, he, in another universe, Peter Parker worked for Kingpin and together they got that kaleidoscope majiggy thing working and uh and then that's what happened is he got turned into the spot and and stuff so that could be interesting i mean there's there's so many possibilities with this and this is a part one of two so i'm really curious how this story is going to end in this first movie like i said my theory has always been since the first trailer that it was going to end with miles entering the last dimension and finding himself in live action and we're going to see some cameos and stuff and that would make a ton of sense because then you can start the next movie off with Shamik Moore or someone playing live action Miles for a couple scenes and then going back into the animated universe. Um, that could be a lot of fun. And that would take this movie and this franchise into the next level, I feel. Um, and, and honestly, Sony's doing it so smart. I mean, I think the first film of this is genius. They obviously had massive success with Venom and Venom 2. Not so much with Morbius, obviously. So I'm sure they're trying to retrofit that. Hopefully, hopefully Madam Web turns out to be a decent movie. Um, it sounds like it's got a good premise, but connecting all these and tying them all together is going to be interesting. And honestly, I always said some of these superheroes are so big, they can be their own shared universe. You know, Spider-Man, it's cool to see him interact with Iron Man and Captain America and the Avengers, but that already happened. Now you could literally make a whole universe of spider characters. And Sony, please hire me to write the Slingers. I want to I want to write the Slingers so bad. Um, I love those characters, and I think they would fit so well in what you're doing with these, you know, villains and Sony, you know, universe thing. I think the Slingers could work, whether it's an animated TV show or animated movie or whatever, uh, or live action. Like, please, you know, I have a script. I am like, I'm dying here. I want to, I want to make that movie so bad. It's like my passion project. Um, but seeing this universe come together and it just, that's why I, I you know, I got all excited there and shouted out my script because I, I love what they're doing, and uh, and I'm I'm on board. Obviously, we're 777 episodes in now of this show, and we've been following everything from the first Venom movie. So, if you want to see more updates from across the Spider Verse, I'll have some toy reviews coming up soon. Um, I bought all the toys, you know, Ben Riley, Scarlet Spider, Spider Punk, um, Cyborg, Spider Woman, who we didn't see in that trailer. And not that I I, I got to go frame by frame, um, so maybe she was in there somewhere. But there's clearly other elements going on, and Miguel is definitely lost in his cause he's he's gone too far into the extreme which makes me wonder if he's being brainwashed in some way or if this is just their take on on miguel is that he's kind of like no there's there's no way around us we have to kill um you know you know the spot or we have to kill someone or we have to do this and it's going to cause all of us to lose somebody because that's what it means sometimes to be spider-man we have to have our uncle ben moment 
And I like Miles, you know, he's kind of like, I had mine. I My uncle did die. And I, and I know it's par for the course for a Spider-Man in a lot of times and stories and universes for Spider-Man to lose other people. But Miles is kind of like, no, I, I, I don't agree with that rule. And it's, it's such a young person's perspective. And that's why I said in the trailer, man, I hope it works out for you, Miles. I really hope that you're making the right decision and that when you save someone, there isn't a death in reaction to you saving that person. Um, Cause man, oh man, would that be a really tough lesson for Miles to learn. And I like Miles. I want him to stay, you know, optimistic and, and, and defiant like that. But, uh, but sometimes that does come, you know, with a price. So I'm, um, I'm nervous, uh, you know, for Miles, but I'm excited for this movie and uh, I want to hear your thoughts. You know, what did you think of this? Do you have any wild theories like mine about who the spot is or who the enemies are, true enemies are, and, you know, what spider people do you want to see? I'm so excited I'm getting Spider-Punk, which is Hobie Brown. Uh, we're getting Ben Riley. We got Spider-Gwen back, obviously. Uh, Peter B. Parker's coming back. Spider-Gwen was definitely holding a Spider-Man body. Like, in her universe, Peter Parker died, but he was the lizard. He wasn't wearing a Spider-Man outfit. He was just wearing tattered clothes. That was a Spider-Man with tattered clothes. So I hope it's not Peter B. Parker. I hope they don't kill someone like that off in this. Because he's a father now, you know, after seeing his journey through the first movie. Oh, man, wouldn't that be awful if Miles saved his dad, but then Peter B. Parker died because of it? Man, oh, man. Or, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to guess anymore. Uh, I want to hear your guesses. So let me know down below, and we'll keep talking down there, and I'll share more of my opinions down there. But, wow, Sony, Phil Lord, Chris Miller, everyone working on this, Joaquin DeSantos, all the directors working on this, everyone who's producing it, wrote it, like, I'm just, I'm in awe and I'm so excited and I can't wait for this movie to come out. So I'll have more information about this coming up, um, you know, as more news and, and images come out, more toy reviews coming up. And then obviously Venom 3 is going to be going into filming soon. So I'll probably have updates for you as soon as that happens as well. So stay tuned to this channel, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.